Hi, my name is Annie and I'm a part of the RethinkDB team. I'm excited to announce our latest release, RethinkDB 2.1. The team has been working for over a year and have completely rewritten the clustering layer to provide robust, high availability for RethinkDB clusters. They've introduced auto failover, powered by the RAF consensus algorithm, which means if you have a cluster of at least three servers and one fails, the RAF protocol will allow the cluster to elect a new server to pick up where the other one left off. We've also added some new error recovery features, which lets you recover your data even if the majority of servers in your cluster fail. And last but not least, we've added some great requel features we think you'll really enjoy. Now we're going to take a moment and show you what the auto failover feature looks like. Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm the director of engineering here at RethinkDB. We have set up a small test cluster here using these three Mac minis. And we've joined all of them together into one RethinkDB cluster. So this is actually the first requirement that we need for making automatic failover work in RethinkDB 2.1. We need at least three servers. Um, secondly, if you go to the table configuration, and I've created a test table here, uh, you have to make sure that your table has at least three replicas. So right now you can see that there are some writes going on against this table. And this is just a small test workload. And you can also, if you look at the bottom of the screen, see that we are printing a dot whenever a write query goes through successfully. So that way we can see that things are still working correctly. Uh, let me just scroll down here so we can see the status of the replicas. And again, we see the three replicas, and they're all ready. And the primary replica right now is on a server uh, I called gray. So let's say something happens with this server. For example, um, somebody might accidentally unplug the network cable. And I'm going to do that right now. Um, so now we can see that the writes here at the bottom have stalled. However, very quickly, um, RethinkDB fixes the problem automatically, and the writes continue again. So what happened here, actually, is that um, RethinkDB realized that the primary um, has disconnected and is no longer available. And it started a raft, um, a raft election to find a new primary replica to take over. And we can see that here in the replica status with this acting primary replica. Um, while this happens, we make sure that no data is lost. Um, we use a, uh, a Chrome for um, all queries, uh, particularly write queries, um, to ensure that all data is present on the new primary replica when we select it. Thank you so much for checking out our latest release. You can download it now at RethinkDB.com. And if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. You can find us on Twitter, GitHub, or on IRC. Thank you.